This is my shiny new Panasonic GH6. So what better time than to show you how to update the firmware on the body itself as well as the lens. Or, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna brick the camera. Let's find out. Now on the camera, we're gonna be hitting this menu and set button. Now on this menu right here on the left, we're gonna go down to the wrench icon. I'm gonna go over to the right, I'm gonna go all the way down to the next wrench icon, go to the right again, and we're gonna go all the way down to firmware version. Now you can see here, body firmware is version 1.2 and lens firmware is version 1.0. So now on the camera side of things, we're done. So we can turn this off. And now we obviously know that this is the GH6, but for the lens itself, on the bottom, right there, we have H-HSA12035. So we're gonna have to remember that. So let's go over to the computer. Now on the computer, you can go to the Panasonic page uh, for like digital audio video support, digital cameras, downloads, then you go to the micro four thirds section. So I'll just link this page right here in the description. And now for the camera body, we have a GH series camera and that is the DC GH6, which all of these are pretty straightforward. GH6, 5S, we have the GH5 Mark II, GH5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So those are pretty self-explanatory. And it shows right here, the firmware version, which is 2.2. Now it's a little bit different here because we have to upgrade to 2.1 first and then we can do 2.2 over top of it but Panasonic has thought ahead on that one so we're not going to have any sort of issues here but just make sure that this is the model number of your camera whichever camera you're using because it's it's the same process for all of them so we're going to go with the GH6 so we can click to the downloads page now right here this is where it says all the information where it's going to say that it has to go to firmware 2.1 first and then 2.2 uh, but it will update uh, from 2.1 to 2.2 automatically if it doesn't, you just run the update again because you'll have both files on the camera. And it says it's going to take approximately 15 to 30 minutes, so you're going to want to have a fully charged battery before doing this. Because if the battery dies while you're doing this, then you've just bricked your camera. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it just says like the new features that it adds. So this is going to add SSD recording over USB, so that way you can uh, record externally. Um, even though uh, USB external SSDs are still going to be slower than the CF Express card, but... Um, it's still a good feature to have. As well as other improvements here, which uh, you can change your ISO to 8,000, 10,000, or 12,800 uh, when you're doing HDMI raw data output and dynamic range boost uh, being set to on. So, I mean, I'm just updating the firmware. I just want the latest version so that way it has, you know, as many features that have been implemented as possible. Uh, another noteworthy thing right here is just to make sure that the camera's been turned off for a while. So the temperature is very cool. You don't want to be using the camera and then update this because it, if it overheats, heat during the update, then again, it'll break the camera. So uh, fully charge your camera, let it cool down for a bit, and then get started with this. So we can click here to proceed to the update and download. Now again, here it's saying fully charged battery, and then you need a memory card. So SD or CF Express card. Now my CF Express card hasn't arrived yet, so I'm going to be using SD for this, but it really doesn't matter. Again, 15 to 35 minutes to complete the update, blah, blah, blah. It just tells you the whole update procedure, but that's why you're watching this video. So right at the bottom here where it says firmware download, we're just, we're going to download this right here. And it says that the extracted file names going to be GH6 underscore V21. So that's going to be the version 21 that it's going to have to flash first. And then it's going to automatically go over top with version 22. So we can download this. Now we're at the user agreement here. So we just accept that and it's now downloading. Now, while we're waiting for that to download, we can close these and we can go back to this main page right here with the, uh, like the firmwares. And we just scroll down a little bit right here where it says lens. So it's a G series lens. So we're going to go to the Lumix G lenses and it is a standard lens. So we're going to have to go through here, H, HS, HSA12035. So that right there is the lens in question. And you can see that it's version 1.2. So there is an update for this lens. So again, we can click to the downloads page and right here, we're just going to click download. And these are done the exact same way, but we're only going to be doing one at a time. So we can accept this while it's downloading. Let's head back over to the camera and we can, you know, prep it, which I mean, realistically, it's not really prepping. We're just going to slide this down and then back, open that up pop up the SD card. Um, right now I'm using a micro SD, which you really shouldn't use these adapters because they can cause corruption and everything, but I, I don't have the new cards yet. So this is just, I, I wanted to use the camera. Like I have to wait like four days for the new cards to come in. So this is just for screwing around. I can just take one of these little adapters, pop the card in. And if you're using full size SD, there's a slot over here. 
pop that end off and we can plug this into the computer. Now on the left, these are the two firmwares that we have. So we can just highlight both those, right click and then just extract here. Um, now if you're on Windows or Mac OS, then it's gonna be a little bit different, but it doesn't matter what operating system you're using. You just you need to open it. You need to take these files out. That's it. Now this obviously is gonna be the body because that's gonna be version 2.1 and 2.2. And this right here is gonna be the lens firmware that we're gonna do after. Now in this folder, we need these files and nothing else. And on the SD card, at the root of the SD card, so in no folders at all, we're just gonna drag these over and just put them in the root directory of the SD card. All right, so that's done and that's it. So for this part right here, we can eject this. We can pop the reader out, take the card out, slap it in the stupid sketchy adapter. You really shouldn't be updating firmware like this. Put it back in the camera, close the door because we cannot touch anything during this process. Now we can turn the camera on and I'll switch back over to the phone. Just like we did before, menu, set button, and it's already on the menus that it was on before. Before, we go to the firmware version and we're going to select firmware update. So now it's scanning the SD card to make sure that the firmware is needed or on it. And yes, it's saying that a new version has been found, which is 2.1. And that's what it has to do first. So we're going to select yes. And that's it. Now we're just going to leave it. Uh, the screen's going to dim. The camera's going to reboot and whatever. Uh, just absolutely do not touch anything until it comes back up to the live view. If it has anything else, do not touch it. You will break your camera. So that's it. We're just... Just don't touch it. Don't don't even breathe. And the camera is back at live view. So again, we go to menu and set, go to the firmware version. You can see that it is on version 2.2. So it did automatically upgrade to 2.1, like it said when we were gonna flash it. And then it automatically upgraded from there to 2.2. So now that is completely done. We can turn this off. We can pop that card back out, stick it back into the card reader and go back over the computer. So we're back on the computer. This right here, use the original firmware files. Now we have to go over to the lens firmware folder. As for these files, we have to delete them because if we try and do the update, it's gonna try and flash those again. So we can just take this, drag it over again to the root of the SD card in absolutely no folders, and we just need the LIN file. And that's it, it's super simple. So eject this, we can pop this out, we can toss it back in the camera, and just like before, hit the menu set button, and we're still on the exact same things as before. So we gotta go to the wrench, the branch, and then right there, firmware version. So we'll select that one, and you can see that lens firmware version 1.0, and the one that we just put in there is 1.2, so we can do firmware update again, and you can see that it has found the firmware for the lens this time, and it's gonna be going to version 1.2. So we can go to the left, hit yes, and again, do not touch anything. Just let it do its thing. So we're back at the live view, hit that menu set button again, firmware version. And now you can see that the body firmware 2.2, lens firmware 1.2. So everything is done. Now the last step, uh, just for me really, uh, we're gonna hit left, we're gonna go all the way up to the top, hit right to go to card format, and I'm just gonna format this card. Uh, now you can just pop it back into the computer and just delete that firmware file that was on there. And then at that point you're good to go, but this card doesn't have anything on it, so I'm just gonna format it. There we go, that's it. 64 gig card, uh, I can take 1,233 photos, uh, cause this takes like ridiculously large photos. And I can't even record video to uh, an SD card because I'm doing uh, Apple ProRes. So once a new card comes in, I'll get to play with this. Uh, but as for now, this video is just gonna kind of uh, like go in place. So the rest of the videos are still gonna be on this Osmo action cause I have a bunch of them pre-recorded. Uh, but that's basically it. So that's that's how to update the firmware on your Panasonic camera. So that's uh, for the mirrorless cameras. This one particular is the Panasonic GH6 and how to update the firmware on your lenses. So now with everything fully up to date, this is gonna be as optimal as it can be. So uh, that's that's it. Hopefully you found something useful here. Uh, you can like the video if you liked it, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, or just don't do any of it. I'm not telling you what to do.